Uh, so look, if you're interested in buying this, um, let me give you what I think are the two. Look at this. Look at the layers on this. <laughs> buddy. Uh... <laughs> To the channel flying right here on this video i'm gonna test out a new set of handlebars that my buddy nadal has streak light special with a 131 he's gonna let me ride it i'm headed over to his house right now we're gonna switch the bikes out i'm gonna get on his bike and then we're gonna take you on an awesome awesome ride this morning where i'm gonna put those handlebars to the test and i'm taking you with me let me give you a nice cold start here before we get going <laughs> my uh awesome indie indie ridge uh, gloves and boots on matching boots so i'm headed over to uh, my buddy nadal's house like i said so uh once we get there we'll have some coffee we'll hang out i'm gonna get on his bike and then we're gonna take you on some awesome roads i've got the drone with me we're gonna launch the drone today in true fly and ride fashion and test out these handlebars. And now I'm gonna give you my uh, overall impressions on the handlebars. I've done a video before featuring the handlebars and uh, they look fantastic. I'll leave that video up here, but this one I'm actually gonna put it to the test and give you my uh, overall impressions and then let you know at the end of this video if I'm making the switch. All right. Oh man, look at this lineup. Nice. All right, let's put it inside. <laughs> what's up man how you, how you been all right we just got to mr look at that lineup let's go check out that lineup outside there look at that you got junior's bike and you got nadal's both this is a cvo road glide and this is oh look at this nice nice i gotta get that that looks awesome all right we're gonna go inside so these are the handlebars that we're gonna test First, we're gonna go grab some coffee, and then I'm gonna jump on this bike and take it with me. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> how you doing? I can't touch you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was me, like my eye was like bloodshot the last time. Look at how much he's grown. It's a she, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Nunu, Nyla. Nyla, okay. Hey. Nunu, you call her Nunu? Yeah. Is that enough for you guys, or should I make some cream cheese? Look at this, uh, look at this. Me, so I don't get Mason to, uh, hooking it up, look at this breakfast. <laughs> So apparently this uh, $5 million machine that uh, Nadal's been uh, talking to us about needs a special uh, special cup to work. No, it, it needs a fancy Oh, there you go. Hold on, hold on. There you go. There you go. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'd like to do one of these. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's a fight. Watch closely, everybody. Look at this. For your viewing pleasure, we're going to... This is going to be some coffee ASMR. All right, there it goes. It's making some good sounds there. Oh, wow. That's some fancy stuff right there. All right, I'm gonna show you this as soon as it's done, but this is pretty awesome. Look at this. Look at the layers on this. Man, that's some serious. It's wow. gourmet stuff here. It is, it is. Look at this spread. Thank you so much. This is awesome. All right, I'm gonna dig in. Check out the two bad boys. D&D Chromeworks. All right, I don't know why the GoPro is uh, shutting off on me for whatever reason. We're uh, gassing up.
Okay, so I'm having to come in here and just do this voiceover because as you saw earlier there, I was having issues with my GoPro. So what I was talking about in this part of the video is why I was considering this handlebar setup for my 2020 Streetlight CVO. It's something that's more narrow, not as wide as my current setup on my bike. And of course you can go with the cross system. You know, however, what that does is it blocks the uh, navigation system and I think it gets in the way of one of the main reasons why I got this bike, which is this cockpit right here. Uh, in a second, I'm gonna show you how awesome this thing handles on the twisties, which is really what we were doing in this part of the video. Check it out. So as you can tell there from that ride, the bike handles absolutely awesome with these handlebars. So we're going to continue the video here. Uh, I'm going to continue to put some music on. We're about to get to this awesome spot where we're going to launch the drone. Enjoy that. And then I'm going to come back here at the end and give you my overall impressions. Again, in a voiceover because of course I'm having uh, GoPro issues and I wanted to make sure that uh, I gave you the overall impressions as I committed at the beginning of the video. Enjoy the rest of it. We'll come back here at the end so you can find out if I'm switching my handlebars to this ones that you see right to these ones that you see right here All right, so look, hopefully you enjoyed that awesome drone footage. Uh, again, I am doing this voice over here because I had GoPro issues at the beginning of the video. So look, in summary, let me give you the impression of the bars uh, on the Dow's bike uh, and my ultimate decision on whether I'm gonna switch it here to my bike or not. Number one, we measured it earlier in the garage and my handlebars from end to end measure 37 inches and Nadal's handlebars from end to end measure 34 inches. So obviously that four inch difference gives you a much more narrow stance, uh, which again, as you can tell from that video, the bike handles amazing. It's, it, it definitely improves handling in my opinion. The bike is much more nimble, very, very capable. And with the awesome setup that Nadal has on that bike with the suspension, you can really ride that bike aggressively if that's what you choose with the handlebars that Nadal has on his bike. And uh, obviously the second thing is, I think it looks really, really good. And you can tell it's got a really, really cool design. It's pretty unique. Uh, so look, if you're interested in buying this, um, let me give you what I think are the two um, main challenges with these bars and how that factors into my decision. Number one, the, the bars actually block the two outermost instrument clusters on the street glide, which is really the gas as well as the voltage. And more importantly, what happens is when you turn the signals on, it blocks the signal from being on. So you don't really know if your turn signal is on or not. And that to me is a deal breaker. And the second thing you wanna consider, if that's not an issue for you, is it does require some minor adjustment on the fairing so that it doesn't touch the fairing because these bars are pretty thick. And uh, Nadal had to take a Dremel to sort of file down parts of that fairing. You can hardly see it, so that's why I'm not even showing it to you. But again, that one for me is really a deal breaker because I don't want to mess with the fairing on my CVO. Those two things notwithstanding, these are really, really awesome. And if you don't want to do a cross system, which again, I think is the most, which again, I think are from a handling perspective, the best setup out there, that doesn't work for me here. This I think is really a great option, assuming you can get past those two obstacles that I just talked to you about, which is really blocking this, those two instruments and the slight adjustments that you have to do to the fairing. So all of that said, I think this is a great setup. Uh, obviously Nadal was awesome enough to let me ride the bike. Uh, Nadal, thank you. I appreciate uh, you trusting me with your amazing machine here. The way you built this bike is just extraordinary. So great job. 
I think the bike feels and handles awesome. I would not change a thing on it. So again, look, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Oh, and by the way, one last thing that I wanted to talk about, um, Nadal on that bike actually upgraded uh, the speaker system. And I got to tell you, that thing sounded freaking awesome. Even when we were doing high speeds and with the noise, um, it sounded really, really good. So top-notch stereo system, top-notch performance. I mean, again, he just did it completely, completely all the way around. I'm gonna leave in the description below the company that he used, the details and the system that he went with in case anyone wants to um, you know, look into it. Feel free to leave it down in the comments below. So again, look, that's gonna do it for this video. Do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. Thanks for watching.